Get ready, because summer is here and Bachelors in Grand Marais is going to blow your mind. Who will find love? Who will be heartbroken and crushed forever? The drama and tears are unlike anything you've ever seen before. And it all starts right now. Welcome back, I'm Harris Christensen. This season has been full of crazy drama, sexy romance, shocking tears, and of course, true and lasting love. Let's take a look back at some of our favorite moments from along the way. My friends call me John John Johnson. My parents call me John John Johnson. So you can call me John John Johnson. I'm 29 from Anaheim, California, and the water is my friend like Moana. <laughs> I love California. The vibe is so uh, vibey. You're totally right, bro. I should take you down and we could get some sweet waves. You just drop in, smack the lip, whoop -a! Drop in, blah! You feel? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I feel. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Hi, I'm Jenny. What's your name? Oh, weird. I'm Jenny, too. <laughs> Uh, how do you spell it though? That's the real question. Like any self-respecting woman would. J-E-N-N-Y. I always think it's so funny when they have people on these shows with the same name. But, I mean, at least we spell ours differently. But you know they're just gonna refer to us by our last initials. What's your last name? Mine's Ives. Mine's Young. So that makes you Jenny I with a Y. And you're Jenny... Y with an I. Oh, that's gonna give someone a headache. <laughs> uh, hi there. I'm Luke. Ooh, a little southern boy. Hi there. Okay. I didn't know they were gonna bring the pit crew up here, bitch. You want to go for a walk by the lake? I hear it's mighty pretty this time of year. <laughs> I'm on my way. Now, this is that walk. <laughs> it sounds like Alvin is trying to get with Jennifer. My God, man, you're right. I mean, Alvin is my bro, but Jennifer is going to be the mother of my children. Dude, let me ask you a few questions, Alvin. What exactly are your intentions with Jennifer? Because I know you have this like podcast. It's like a, it, like a really big part of your life. And I know you use your status that you've mentioned several times in that podcast to seduce women who are infatuated with public figures, Alvin. Okay, okay. Can you let me talk? No, 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 no. Hold on with me, Alvin. Hold You're on You're not with allowing me, me to talk. No. You're bulldozing right through that Name statement. one thing I said that's false, Alvin. Name one thing. Don't insult my intelligence. I am not insulting your intelligence. No, 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 no. You're trying to talk your way John. out of this. John. No, name John. one thing John. I said that's false. John, you're not allowing me to talk. Oh, you're in this for fame and you're full oh. of shit. Oh, oh shit. You, oh. Take advantage, oh. you take advantage of other women and are in this for the wrong no. reasons. Trademark. All right, all right. You should go tell Jennifer what you're in this for. So wait, are you Jenny 
Y with an I or Jenny I with a Y? I'm Jenny Y with an I. Is that confusing for you? Like dating someone with the same name? No, not really. I don't often refer to myself in the third person. Mm -hmm. You know, I once dated a guy with the same name as me and it was so confusing. I broke up with him because he wouldn't change it. Oh my gosh, Taylor. Do you think that's gonna happen to you, Jenny? No. <laughs> Neither of us are psychotic. Hey, you know Madison and I are together, right? So don't go bringing her a pinata, trying to get close to her and flirt. Man, how would I know that? I walked up to her, I asked her if she wanted to chill on this bed thing, and she agreed. Guys, oh! Stop. Guys, stop. Oh, okay. No, well, guys, I'm just gonna stop. take this then. Y'all don't stop. need it if stop. you're just guys, chilling. Stop. Dude, back up. Guys. Don't touch guys. that. Oh, I got it. Don't guys. touch oh, that. Guys. Hey, guys. hey, hey, give me that pinata. Hey, you better give me that pinata. That was expensive. That was expensive. I got one. Oh, no. I'm sorry, everyone, but we had to send Simon and Theodore home. That's not what Grand Marais is about. We're not laying blame at anyone's feet, but we have zero tolerance for violence on these shores. This is about a second chance at love, and I really do want that for each and every one of you. I know each of you were sent home on night one of your original seasons, which is why we brought you back here, to find lasting love. Well, Elvin's clearly into Jennifer, so I'm just going to go home now. There's no point in me being on this lake if no guy is interested in me. I'll get more action on Bumble driving through Iowa's cornfields than up here. Now that Simon got himself kicked out of here, I think I'm going to stay at the resort for a little bit longer. <laughs> it's cute, and I could use some alone time after having my heart ripped out of my chest. I knew Theodore would get into a fist fight. I mean, he literally told me that he would. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm not into him, he's not into me, and my boyfriend is waiting for me in the car. I mean, I only came on here for more followers from my Chia Pet Instagram. At Taylor Loves Chia Pets. Well, there you have it, folks. There's nothing quite like a drama-filled season recap. Now that Alvin, Addison, Simon, Madison, Theodore, and Taylor have all gone home, we're down to our final three couples. But before we catch up with those couples, we've had an odd yet thrilling addition to our cast this season. Betty, the owner of Betty's Ski Resort, has been helping us out and has become part of the family. Come on over, Betty. Paris, baby doll, I hate to correct you, but my place is called Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle. Com. Well, how about that? <laughs> now, we all know what you've been waiting for. Let's catch up with our final three couples. But before we do that, let's pause for a word from our sponsor. Folks, when it's time to plan the details of your honeymoon getaway, you and your fiance will probably have to make some compromises with each other. But when it comes to where you'll stay, it's all about comfort. Hi, I'm Betty. And when you come to Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle, it's all about you. That means showing you whichever rooms you want to see in a price range you're comfortable with. It means helping you select the largest, most beautiful room for your money without being rushed and pressured. And it means cleaning your room for free and caring for your stay with our reasonably priced mini bar. So, if your fiance wants a getaway with a view and you want somewhere to ski, you come here. At Betty's, our quality and value mean you'll never have to compromise on your fiance's happiness or yours. Now you have a friend in the hotel business, Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle in Grand Marais, right off Highway 61. Our front desk is open weekdays until eight and Saturdays and Sundays until five, or book online at Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle dot com. Your journey to find love on the beautiful shores of Lake Superior could be wrapping up soon. 
each of you has found someone to be romantic with, but will it lead to a lasting love? With Alvin, Simon, Theodore, Addison, Madison, and Taylor gone, it's time for our final three couples to move forward. Mark and Luke, while your names together sound like the disciples, your passion for each other is anything but biblical. John John Johnson and Jennifer, we've never seen a more compatible couple. And finally, Jenny Y with an I and Jenny I with a Y. You've made improvements to this resort that no one asked for, but were absolutely necessary. With that being said, Fantasy Tents, trademark, are coming soon, and you'll have to decide if you want to forgo your individual accommodations and stay with your partner in the Fantasy Tents, trademark. Girl, this is the longest relationship I've had outside of Twitter in literal years. And the longest conversation I've had with a boy... I've ever. Mom, I'm so glad that we've been able to connect in a real way in such a short period of time. You've shown me that it's possible to love again. Luke, you are such a special guy and I'm so glad we found each other. Well, I know you've had some pretty bad heartbreaks in your life. But I will always take care of you, and I know you will do the same for me. We probably aren't supposed to say this yet, but I've already fallen in love with you, Mark. I love you too, Luke. I'm no cowboy, but I could last a full eight seconds on the full name Fu Manchu. Honey, oh honey, I hope you last longer than eight seconds, honey. Oh shoot, baby, I'm so happy. You want to go sit in the hot tub? Directly next to each other because we are gay. Vine is dead. Let's go. <laughs> Tell you the truth, Mark and I have been ready for fantasy tents at TM for a while now. It's no secret that the two of us have shared a bed once or twice already, spooning only. And well, I think that fantasy tents to TM would be a really great step in our relationship to uh, figure some stuff out. Well, yeah, I don't mean to be crass, but I'm pretty sure that Mark is a bottom. You know, like a like a catcher. So, I uh, guess I gotta figure that out. Girl, I am thrilled to be dating Luke. I've been waiting to spend some uninterrupted time with him, and Fantasy Tense is the perfect time to do that. Our relationship will get to the next level as soon as we hash out who's doing what. He's speaking for the straights, honey. But it's true. I've always wanted to have a man who knows me. Oh, we're absolutely in love. There's no question about that. We've talked a lot about Fantasy Tense TM, and I think it'll be a really good night to sit and talk and figure out our next steps together. Do you think anything else will happen in the bed? Well, we're gonna sleep, obviously. <laughs> uh, but. No, we really need the time to discuss our futures and figure out our next step together. Here's what will happen. We'll sit there for five minutes talking. I'll make some eyes at her. She'll huff in frustration because I'm irresistible. And then we'll end up in bed. Jenny seems to think there's going to be a future between the two of you. What do you think? We've talked about our future, or at least the need to plan a future. The fact is, there aren't many ladies out there that I've connected with, so when one comes along, you lock that shit down. Mm. Do you want any more hummus or can I put it away? Oh, I'm okay, thanks. You're not gonna make me go on a hike in the morning, are you? Oh, I absolutely am. <laughs> and don't try to get out of it, either. Because 69% of hikers that go out alone go missing. And I don't think you want all this to go missing, do you? Okay, fine, I'll go with you, but we have to discuss what our next step is going to be. Next step? Isn't it obvious? We'll move in together, link our Delta Sky Miles account, oh, and get a new cat. Shouldn't we make sure the cats we already have get along first? Do we really need another pussy cat in the mix? <sighs> well... At least we know two of the cats get along. Gross. <laughs> but you're right. So are you okay with that plan? 
Sounds good to me. Although I typically fly southwest, so <coughs> that's going to be a conversation. <coughs> I'm going to put the hummus away. I think Jennifer is an incredible woman. I, we, I feel like we've known each other forever, and I can't imagine life after this without her. It's Jennifer. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry, sorry, Jennifer. Oh, ugh, I could never get that right. Oh, hopefully someday she'll forgive me. I mean, we have this insane connection, so oh, of course we will. Have you talked about Jennifer Kim? Oh, bro, 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 no. We don't need to have that conversation. I know exactly what she's going to say. We are gonna have the fantasticest time in that tent, and everyone is gonna know about it. Wink. Yeah, I think this is it for me and John John Johnson. Don't get me wrong, he is a really cool guy. I mean, he's funny, and clearly he's easy on the eyes. But um, John John Johnson and I are not a good romantic match. He seems to think that we had a little fantasy time. Oh, crap. I swear he only half listens to me. I mean, I literally told him last night when we were making out that I was going to be done, and he thought it was just for the night. I meant permanently. Are you going to break things off again? Well, I have tried three times, but he does not get it. I guess I'll have to make it clear tonight. Jennifer! So good to see you. Are you loving it up here? Hi, Don Don Johnson. I love it up here. It is so pretty. I just wish it were a bit warmer. Me too. I thought it was supposed to be summer. They're not kidding when they say that Minnesota is 90% winter. <laughs> um, hey, can we talk? I need to tell you something. Of course, you can tell me anything. I will always be here for you. I'm glad to hear that, but that just makes this a bit harder. Wait, Jennifer, before you say anything, let me say this. Last week, I was starting to fall in love with you. But tonight, I am definitely in love. Oh, John, stop. Wait, what? Bet, 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 bet. I was just gonna say that I was, I'm falling in John, love. John, John, Johnson, please stop. I wanna tell you that we need to be just friends. Wait, what? Just friends? I don't get it. Um, I mean, I thought you knew that. Well, I mean, you and me just aren't a good romantic match. What do you mean we're not a good romantic match? I mean, we have such a good connection and always have a great time together. We're always on the same page. There's no way that you're being serious right now. Oh, great. Now you're gonna make me cry. Oh. And John, I am totally serious right now. I just, me and you just, we just need to be friends. What did I do? Why don't you love me? Why does no one ever love me? Oh, oh John, everyone here loves you. Me and you just aren't right. You will find someone and soon, I promise. No. No, I won't. Every time I let someone in and show my true self, I just end up with a broken heart. I should have known this was gonna happen. I am so, I am so sorry, John. <laughs> but I have to do what's right for me. You and I can main, remain friends throughout this, but I mean, that that is all. <laughs> I know. I know. I really, really appreciate you being honest with me. It just really hurts to know that I am on law. After that heart-wrenching breakup, it's time for Jennifer and John John Johnson to go their separate ways. Yeah, she made 
like an emotionally intelligent decision or whatever but she didn't give me like the chance to prove that I was the right guy for her honestly I don't know she still wants to be friends but the last time I was this vulnerable with a woman she broke my heart into a million pieces I think it's gonna take some time I feel like I was just putting all the pieces back together when I arrived in Grand Marais. I was excited for a hot summer, maybe a hot fling, but I wasn't really looking for my forever person, you know? When Jennifer pulled up on that canoe, I could not believe my eyes. The most beautiful girl in the entire galaxy was on the shore and I knew I was already in love but she totally blindsided me today when she said she didn't love me I don't think I'll ever be able to love again what are you feeling towards Jennifer right now are you angry with her oh no bro no no I could never be angry with her yeah my my heart is broken, but she had to do what her heart said was right. And her heart said I wasn't the right one. I think it's going to take some time for me to stop loving her. But after that, I know I'll have a friend for life. I know this journey was hard, but I am I believe in it and I'm confident that I could still find my person through this journey. Oh, I'm totally fine. I mean, I knew he'd take it pretty hard. I mean, he really likes me. He actually told us he loves you. What do you think about that? Oh, no, of course he does. And I, I think the world of him, um, I just don't see a, I just don't have a romantic connection. There's not, it's not there for me. Do you think you'll maintain a friendship with him after this journey's over? Probably. I mean, if it really, um, I don't know, if he really did love me, I mean, he needs some time to recover. You know, I think that we could be best friends then, but maybe from afar. I mean, I live in Minnetonka and he's in California, so... It'll be a long distance friendship. Maybe we'll be social media buddies. Is there any hope for the two of you in the future? Of being romantic? No, I did just say that. Um, but yeah, this is not gonna be some like post bachelors and grand ray like love affair. <sighs> we tried that and it didn't work and now I am going home. I truly never thought I would find someone like her. Like, when we first kissed, it was like a chemistry job bomb <laughs> exploded. Like, I can't believe she just totally blindsided me. I'm just like, I'm just really truly trying to bend my broken heart. <laughs> like, Hashtag justice for John John Johnson. You know, like, why, bro? <laughs> Lee of a picturesque ridge lies a small, unpretentious resort that treats its guests just like it does its babies. Hi, I'm Betty, and if you love the North Shore like I do, then you'll appreciate the quality and craftsmanship of a great Grand Marais resort that brings the goodness of Lake Superior to half of its rooms and a dazzling view of Highway 61 to the rest. Come see the difference a good resort can make in your North Shore getaway. You'll remember your experience and you'll remember the name. Betty Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle .com.
As our final couples are nearing their final day here in Grand Marais, we'll see if they decide to forgo their individual accommodations and stay together in the fantasy tents, trademark. Mark and Luke are finishing up a candle at breakfast and Jenny and Jenny are coming back from a five mile hike. Let's check in with our couples and see what will become of their final days here in Grand Marais. All I'm saying is that there's no better way to experience a new place than hiking all of the unpaved paths it has to offer. I don't disagree with you. And, and I hear your opinion, but there's just no reason to do this again starting at four in the morning. Oh, but look at us now. Step goals completed, worked up a sweat, and it's not even time for morning mimosas. Plus, I did not go missing, and we both know how happy you are about that. You're incredibly annoying this early in the morning. I love you. This is such a wonderful morning here in Grand Marais. What more could we want than a fantasty candlelit breakfast and a lake view? <laughs> Category is romantic. I never thought of having a candlelit breakfast because of the sunlight and all, but this is such a special time with you. I hope fantasy tents trademarked aren't today. We shouldn't be eating if they are, okay? Oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Good morning, Marayers. It's another beautiful day here on Lake Superior, but our time in this resort is coming quickly to a close. Today, you'll have to make the tough decision to either leave Grand Marais or move your relationship forward and spend the night in the fantasy tents, trademark. That's almost too convenient. You'll have the rest of the morning to talk with each other and make your decisions. Then you'll make your final decisions at lunch. We'll see you all a little later. I literally knew this was gonna happen. I should have listened to those seagulls outside of my window this morning. They were literally screeching at me. You shouldn't have eaten that seven cheese omelet, baby. I should have listened to the signs better. <sighs> hey, uh, I should ask, since we're doing this in person and not over an app, you're a bottom, right? Sis, what a read. Just call me Dusty Ray Bottoms, baby. Is that going to be a problem for you? Not even a little bit. Thank you for being straight with me for once and telling me your expectations. See, I'm versed, but for you, I'll do anything. Are you sure you're okay with that for hopefully the rest of your life? As long as you're okay with the preparation you're gonna have to do every time, I'm good with it. Oh, babe. Thank you for recognizing the work I'm about to put in. You're gonna recognize the work I put in later. <laughs> Bitch. Fantasy tents, baby. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> I am so ready for our lives to begin after this. You know, we could just go home right now and still pursue a relationship outside of the show, right? I know. <laughs> but it's not nearly as fun. Well, I was ready to move in with you the day I met you. So we might as well try it out in a tent. Oh, that was literally the hottest thing anyone's ever said to me. It's time for Fantasy Tents. Let's see how our couples are liking their new accommodations. So, how does this compare to summers in Boston? Well, first of all, it's about 50 degrees warmer. We can actually wear summery clothes and be around civilization. Would you ever consider moving somewhere else? Probably. You sure wouldn't miss the traffic. Where are you from again? Asheville. North Carolina. Ooh. What's that like? It's a trip. Who designed this thing? It's like a Rubik's Cube. I'm more of a glamping fan myself. Yeah, I would prefer a nice hotel with a spa and room service. Have you done anything resembling camping before? Oh, bless your heart. Does this look like it belongs outside? I'm guessing not. <laughs> Good guess. It's honestly too hot in Austin in the summer to go outside anyways. Oh, you're such a southern belle. Just give me a shade tree and some sweet tea. 
Not that I don't love sitting out here with you, but we do have a tent at our disposal. Oh no. Let's just take it in a minute longer. I want to savor every moment I have here with you. We are going to be spending a lot more time together in the future, right? I know. But this is different. It's just us and a couple of queens on a shore. I want to enjoy this before we have to go back to reality. We can enjoy it from inside the tent, too. Plus, inside the tent, I can... Yeah, uh, uh, come on. Open it like that. Okay, inside the tent. Shut it. Would you like some champagne, my dear? Wow, first you do all your <gasps> prep, now this? What did I ever do to deserve you? <gasps> oh. My. Fucking. God. What? Who stole our champagne? Oh! Babe. I bet that bitch Jenny took it. Well, Jenny I with a Y or uh, Jenny uh, I with a Y? Does it matter? No, it looks uh, mighty spacious in there. I bet it's in here somewhere. Or would you want me to help you uh, pitch that tent? It's already set up. Oh, good God. Mark, what? Let me in the tent. Oh, yup. <laughs> The moment we've all been waiting for. The morning after fantasy tents, trademark. The make or break. The decision of a lifetime. It's time for you to leave and stop raising cane on my shores. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> it's time for our couples to decide if they have a real future outside of Grand Marais. definitely works. You know, the time I've spent with you has been really great. I think so too. I really think you might be my person. Is that weird? Definitely not. I feel the same way. I want this journey to carry on for a lifetime. In this moment, standing with you, I see my forever. Hello? They're doing what? We, we gotta go. I don't want another day to go by where I don't kiss you and tell you how much you mean to me. This journey has been a oof, roller coaster of emotions. The main emotion being love. I am the best version of myself when I'm with you. I don't just think about now, I think about forever. And I know my forever is with you. I've had so many wonderful, unexpected moments with you. You made me look at what love is differently. You were so supportive and pushed me to try new things, which is something I need sometimes. You're everything I want on paper and everything I want in a face. This is supposed to happen later. I know we will have a wonderful life together, but I can't leave here without letting you know how much you mean to me. I think we're ready to take the next step. Let's move in together. Oh, yes! Excuse me? What? You, you aren't getting engaged. Oh, hell no. We've known each other for like three weeks. Plus, we need to see if this works outside of this bubble before we can make a lifelong commitment. Yeah, but we think moving in together is a reasonable next step to I see if this will work. I guess that's, uh, very mature of you? I think so. Let's go, babe. It's the final day here in Grand Marais, and there's still one couple who has to make the decision to get engaged 
or if this is the end of their journey to love. Look, my man. Harris, good to see you. It's great to see you too. Now it seems like things are really progressing for you and Mark. Do you know what you're going to do today? Absolutely. I think he's a little bit nervous, but I know that we're ready. All right, well, good luck and don't fuck it up. At the beginning of this journey, I didn't think it was possible to love someone this much. But now that we're at the end of this journey, I am contractually obligated to say that I love him. Better yet, I actually do. <laughs> Yeehaw! I hate to put a damper on anything today because I know it's a big day, but I just found out something about Mark. To be honest, I'm not sure that he's coming. What? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm really sorry. Oh, never mind. He came. This feels like drama for the sake of drama. I'm so glad that's over. I'm glad to see you. I thought you weren't coming. Of course I came. The sun is shining, the temperature's in the mid-50s, and I might get engaged today. Is that what you and Luke talked about? Do you think you know what he's going to say? Oh, honey, I know exactly what he's going to say. I'd love to stay in chat, but there is a very hot man waiting for me. <laughs> All right, good luck. Hi, Luke. How are you? Oh, baby, I'm so nervous right now. Baby. Mark Daniels, you've shown me a love I never thought existed. You always tell me that it's bad for me how much I smile because I'll get wrinkles when I'm older, but when I'm with you, I can't stop smiling. You're the reason I smile. I love you so much, Mark. Not just now, but forever. I want you to be my teammate, my husband, my partner. Luke, right away I felt so strong. You are so easy and effortless to love. I couldn't imagine life without you. You never cease to amaze me. I know our life together will be so special. I'm gonna wake up every morning and choose you until you tell me I can't. The time has come for me to tell you I love you, Luke Bryant Olson. Mark, Elbert, Pike, Tarsisius, Daniels. There is no other man for me. Will you make me the happiest cowboy on earth and marry me? OMG, a million times yes. <laughs> fans, Harris Christensen here to introduce you to the new spin-off guaranteed to blow your mind and warm your heart. Do You Believe in Magic is a new show about finding love and making beautiful magic together. Romance, drama, roses and hot tubs, everything you love about Bachelors and Grand Marais, plus magicians. There's no deeper and fun way to connect with someone than through magic. It's time to believe in magic. Starting this fall, airing at 11.38 p.m. Eastern European Summertime on ABCSN. Well, folks, it's been three days since we filmed our last episode in Grand Marais. We're going to check in with our couples and see where they're at now. Let's bring out our first couple. You loved them. Here's Jennifer and John John Johnson. Nice to see you both. How are things going? Oh, um, well, we're not a couple anymore, so I, I can't speak for him, but um, I'm fine. Happy to be back on TV. I've been well. I've finally defrosted <laughs> and my heart is healing. That's really great for you. 
Since your devastating breakup in Grand Marais, have you kept in contact with each other? I wouldn't call it devastating, um, and it's only been about a week, so, um, no, not really. I've been just trying to give us both the space we needed to heal. I mean, this has been the toughest breakup of my life. I mean, I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with Jennifer. But you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Is there any chance the two of you might rekindle things outside of Grand Marais? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Jennifer on this one. We had a good run, but I still think my person is out there. I just can't wait to meet her. I wish you both the best in finding lasting love. John John Johnson, we might be seeing more of you. More to come on that. When we come back, we'll hear from Jenny and Jenny and Mark and Luke. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. And then back at me. Look at your man. And back at me. Sadly, I'm not your man, but he could be more like me if he stopped staying in those rundown hotels and came to Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle. Look down and back up. Where are you? You're on a boat. You're on a boat with the man who could be like your man if you came to Grand Marais. What's in your hand? I have it. It's an oyster with two ski lift tickets. Look again. It has turned to diamonds. Anything can happen when you come to Betty's Ski Resort and baitandtackle.com. I'm in a canoe. Let's not waste any time. I know you all want to hear from them. Here's Jenny Y with an I and Jenny I with a Y. Come on out, ladies. Hi, Harris. Harris, what's good? Ladies, it's so good to see you both again. I want to ask how things are going since we last saw each other in Grand Marais. Well, Harris, as you said earlier, it has been three days, so not much has changed. We're in love and we'll be moving in together. Are there discussions of a proposal in the future? Harris, you little sneak. Of course we talked about it and honestly, there probably will be. As you know, we think that this journey is too quick to commit to an engagement, but we've already ordered new hypoallergenic rugs and bath mats. I mean, what could be more intimate than that? There you have it, folks. A growing relationship, a newly furnished home, and two people in sensible love. Ladies, thank you for being here. We're wishing you all the best. In just a moment, we're going to hear from our happily engaged couple, Mark and Luke. And we're going to hear what almost made Mark skip the proposal altogether. But first, you loved her this season. Let's bring out Betty. Betty, it's great to see you. Have you been outside of Grand Marais recently? Oh. I've hardly stepped foot off Betty's ski resort and bait and tackle in years. All right, Betty. Why don't you tell the folks at home why your resort name is so long and how people can stay there for a nice getaway? I'm so glad you asked because I was going to tell you anyway. Betty's ski resort and bait and tackle is open year round. Come on up to Grand Marais to Betty's ski resort and bait and tackle right off Highway 61. Our front desk is open until 8, Monday through Friday, until 5 on Saturday and Sunday. Or you can book online at Betty's Ski Resort and Bait and Tackle. Betty, it's been great talking with you. Thanks for letting us book out your resort, and maybe we'll see you again next season. Oh, no. No, you won't.
In just a few minutes, we're going to show you everyone's favorite part of the season, bloopers. But before we get there, let's hear from our final couple. Mark and Luke, come on out. Gentlemen, welcome. Let's dive right in. Mark, there's been a lot of speculation as to why you kept Luke waiting on the shore. Oh, Harris. Look, honey, I was so nervous because I knew exactly what he was going to say. He really loves me and doesn't see any of my flaws because I don't have any. But I was so scared that he wasn't going to be there. And also, I had a three egg Gouda omelet with chorizo and verde salsa like 10 minutes before I was supposed to be down there. And so I guess that, that didn't help. Babe, did you really think I wasn't going to be there? Do you not believe that I'm in love with you no matter what? I really do believe you. I'm so in love with you, I can't think straight. Well, I've never been able to do that. You're just the most wonderful human on earth, and I was sure it wasn't real. Mark Elbert Pike Tarsisius Daniels. You are the love of my life and I will never let you go. You're my partner. You're my man. <gasps> Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. Well, that's all the time we have. Gentlemen, I wish you the best in your engagement and I am thrilled that you've asked me to officiate your wedding. Oh, honey, we forgot to tell you, we asked Luke's sister to officiate. She's a preacher in Austin, and we really want Southern women to advance in the clergy. Thanks for the offer, though, hon. All right, then. That's a wrap on this season of Bachelors in Grand Marais, folks. It's been a wild journey to find lasting love, but it doesn't stop there. Coming soon to OWN on video and DVD, a new season of helping one lucky man find lasting love. Let's meet that lucky man now. Here he is, John John Johnson. We're looking for people to date John John Johnson on our next season. If you want to learn more, visit www.abcsn.net. From all of us here, and the mouse, <laughs> good night. Like in the movies. Ready? Action. How's the start? Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> what are words? When Jennifer pulled up on the, on that canoe. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought a mosquito was biting me. Oh, shoot, your babies.
keep rolling because I'll just have the end. I also messed okay. it up. I definitely looked at you. That's a wrap! Yeah. Yeah.